Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 224 of uh, Phoenix Point, and the reason why I am recording this is that while in the course, uh, we just finished the lair over here, right? That was the lair that we just uh, destroyed. So this is Helios 6 and 7, that's 6 and that's 7, and we... Initially, I was sending them back here so that they can recover and then so while I, while we were doing all the trading stuff and I I you know, it just I, I just ran The cursor over this and it says antediluvian room. Excuse me I'm so excited. So antediluvian ruins So that is where we're going to send our uh our B team, Antediluvian Ruins. Uh, they are now all level seven, right? Uh, okay, let us. Uh, these are supposedly. Uh, wow. Oh, they are. Huh. You know, maybe we should let them go and rest for a bit before we go tackle it. Uh, see, this is uh, because. Um, they are at about 60%, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe 70, 65, 70%. And uh, so it might actually make sense for us to uh, put them in, what do you call this? Uh, get to the home base. Since we just, what I'm trying to get at, since we just destroyed a layer, so it's not likely that another layer will pop very quickly, right? So, uh, so that means we do have some time. So that means if we can bring our, our A team to rest here for a bit, now we have, I have to go check all of these things, right? Uh, so that they can recover their, um, uh, their stamina. And, uh, so that, uh, we do have time. I think we do have time. So, uh, because if we go, uh, go and take them, uh, take the antediluvian. I am uh, apparently these guys are extremely, extremely tough. They're like boss level kind of. Uh, the people, uh, the uh, ancient guardians that are protecting the antediluvians, are boss level type uh, opponents, or mini boss at least, at least minimum mini boss type uh, enemies, and. It, is, it makes sense for us to actually uh, to have uh, our A teams or our uh, teams uh, go up against them. And supposedly they are very slow, but they are extremely tough frontal wise. So we either flank them or we have to hit them uh, from a very long distance away. And they're very accurate also. So. Uh, we have never encountered one. This is the very first time we can encounter one. So, um, I, I don't know. I, I am a little nervous that uh, to go up against them. But, uh, you know what? No risk and no gain. Uh, the, the, the only downside is that we might actually get our teams to lose... Because if they go another mission, they are down to uh, close to about 50%. And anything below 50%, uh, their movement points, they have four uh, action points, right? Uh, they will start to losing, they will start to lose action points. So maybe, so that's why if we hit the antediluvian and then another mission comes up. Uh, oh, there are, that's another one. Oh, we see two now. Ooh. Yes, sir. So that's one. That's two. Uh, okay. Um, we can actually check this out. And um, you know what? Why not? Let, let's, let's just check them out, right? Uh, because these sites, there is no rush to do these sites simply because they have been there and they will be there for uh, quite some time uh the thing is that 
it also makes sense for us to do them now because we just finished off a layer so that uh, we can finish this get maybe our stamina goes down to about 50 percent uh, and then we can go back home and actually fully rest so that's not an issue okay I think uh, let's do this that's six that's seven and if uh, we cannot take them on we can uh, we can flee right <laughs> okay let me let me save this uh, to geo 4 or maybe we need to go back to geo 1 in in case uh, if in case that uh, we turn out to be too tough for us uh, save the game to geo the first geo yeah okay okay so there are immediately two antediluvian sites that we see and we're headed in that direction um, in the meantime we're continuing to trade uh, Okay, uh, this is the Manticore, and this guy is, oh, it's a level two, level two Berserker? No, no, it's already changed his head, so we just want them at level one before they are changed, they have been changed. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, we've been here. Oh, they have a level one berserker. Wait, Salome? Yeah, Salome, that's a level one berserker, right? Or is that an assault? No, that's a level one berserker. Okay. How come they have not uh, made priests available to us yet? That is very surprising. Okay, what is up here? Dayun, oh that's another berserker. Oh that is no no that's a berserker. This is not the sign of a berserker. I think this is that of an assault. Yeah, that is an assault. Okay. Um do we want this assault? Uh you know that's pretty expensive. 49 tech. Uh 259. Yeah, that's pretty expensive tech. Um, and where are we on? We are 63 out of 80, so, huh, uh, no, let's not go get that person. And here, oh, we have finished trading here, uh, down here maybe? Oh, we finished trading here too, uh... How about down here? Okay, we can go trade there. And that's another Berserker. Production complete, Athena. So, going over the last fight, so we won, we actually lost an Athena. Uh, uh, I did not realize it, but one of our guys, one of our Eagle guys, lost the Athena uh, Eagle cook maybe yeah she lost her Athena um, so we just made one more Athena and this one that's a destiny destiny let's okay um, so now we're back to two Athenas. Uh, very expensive, uh, the last fight. Uh, I thought it was a destiny that was broken. It was not. It was actually an Athena. Okay. So right now we're back to having two Athenas. Uh, heavy. Uh, yeah, this one, this was our weapon when we took out the spawner. This is a Danchev machine gun. Uh, poison firing living machine gun and a nice thing about it is does not have uh, am ammunition 
so we can use it all the time. Uh, effective range, however, is 9. A burst of 10. It's similar to the machine gun. Uh, similar to this. Uh, this one is similar to the uh, Deceptor machine gun. 35 burst. Uh, it doesn't have shred. Uh, however, the this one has only a burst of 10 versus 12, but it has 5 poison, so that means we apply 50 poison if all the pellets uh, hit, right? And that is why the spawner was suffering like 80 points of poison per turn and goes down by 10 every turn. That is a lot though, so that's 80, uh, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. That is a lot of poison. So up close and personal, uh, this thing would be amazing. Especially if we can combine them with this, uh, what do you call this, this one? Uh, the Rage Burst of the uh, Heavy. Uh, if next time we go up against a spawnery and we have this machine gun, uh, let's do that and let's see what it does. Uh, I don't know, does it have piercing? I can't remember if it has piercing. It does not have piercing. Uh, oh, effective range. Hmm. Okay, that's a problem, right? If it doesn't have piercing, I don't think we can apply the poison. But can you imagine, we can fire five times uh, shoots five times uh, burst of 10 35 350 times 5 that's 70 70 700 that's 1400 plus uh, 350 1750 that is an amazing number of uh, pellets and then 50 poison per Per turn, we're talking about 250 poison put on. So 1,750 in terms of kinetic damage and uh, 250 points of poison damage. We're talking about 2,250. Can you believe that? That is a mile. <laughs> that is tremendous. And this has uh, all. It, it doesn't have any what do you call this it doesn't have any uh ammunition capacity so we can we can keep going right just keep going just keep going Whew. what if it is against uh the uh not an infiltrator but what if it's using a uh a berserker the rage uh you know, let's see what it does with Rage Infiltrator. There should be level 2 now, right? I think those infiltrators that we... Uh, not... The... Uh, yeah, Stone... No, no, Stone Aruda, no. Uh, the... Uh, the low level ones we, yeah we got three berserkers right uh if we look at them and if we check at their rage burst uh, or their frenzy or something the last one uh it's called adrenaline rush uh all abilities cost a maximum of one action point until end of turn so if we use rage burst Uh, if we use Rage Burst and then we use, I, I see, I'm, I'm trying to think what kind of a combination we will have if we have like this guy with Rage Burst and Adrenaline Rush shoots five times across the arc with a direct fire weapon. Uh, it only costs five will points, 
right? It costs five will points, but does it, it doesn't use an action point, does it? Doesn't use it. I don't know how to use this. So uh, uh, shoots five times across, spread across an arc with a direct fire weapon. Okay, so that means this is triggered once we trigger the firing, which requires three points. So if we combine Raid's Burst with uh, Adrenaline Rush, that means uh, each time we shoot, we, we can shoot four times. And each time we shoot five times. Ho <laughs> ho! That would be just crazy, right? Okay, uh, that, that that's something worth considering. I, I just, I, I just, it just blows my mind. Anyway, um, okay. So are we there yet? I think we're there. Okay, we're. Um, okay, uh, let's forward this a bit. Wait, excavate site. Send a team of excavators to open a path to the ancient ruin. Okay, hold on. Uh, let us save this. So we've never done this. Uh, so I'm saving it. And then I don't know what to expect. Uh, I was thinking that it would be defended by... If we excavate the site, uh, send a team of excavators to open a path to the ancient ruin. It will cost us 5 tech, 10. Uh, wait, I think the other thing is that uh, I think it requires uh, posting an aircraft. Wait, when we excavate the site, hold on. Uh, when I, 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 so when we excavate the site, we apparently have to stay on station. I mean, the plane has to stay on station. So I think we might want to bring uh, another plane and do that. A plane that has nobody in it, because it says that uh, send a team of excavators. To open a path to the ancient ruin. Okay, let us. Uh, if we have to stay on station, then um, then this is the wrong crowd uh, because uh, we want to send these guys home so that they can rest. Okay, so we need to send another plane. Okay, I think that's okay. Let's just let's just send. Uh, six and seven back to the main base here. Because um, they need to rest and recuperate. Um, trade. Okay, where are we? Uh, we've traded here, right? Yep, finish there. Finish there. Uh, how about here? Two for twelve. No, we have not done that. Two for ten. What plane is this? This is Helios Five. So we might need another. Uh, another plane then trade 2 for 10 2 for 12 wow we are getting a lot of food now we have almost over 8000 uh how about here 2 for 12 2 for 10 um explore Oh, we did not come up here, huh? Okay, let's explore this first. Trade 2 for 12. Uh, how about here? Should we come down here? 
Yeah, four for six. Okay, yes. So we have checking on these things over here. So we've finished trading in that area. Oh, they have re. Uh, Oh, this is in Oh, this is in Africa. Oh, this is a level level 3, yeah. See, that's why they have uh Anu Berserker helmet, okay? Berserker leg armor. Berserker Anu Berserker helmet Berserker armor but it has changed the body disciple on a regeneration torso no um no we're not gonna do that uh. <sighs> Two for twelve, two for ten. Trade. Okay, uh, this one is coming around here. This one should be. This is five. Those are empty. I've been traded with already. Um, how about these guys? Have we traded with them? Nope. Two for twelve. Two for ten. Oh, who is it? Smells like survival exploration site. The Helios 8 has set down outside an abandoned sewage treatment facility. Our operatives uh, report that the smell is so disgusting we might have to invent a new scale. <laughs> Search the site. Okay, uh, scavenging up resources from a site like this is pretty awful work, but we need whatever we can get. Our operatives have recovered all the resources they could find. They were attacked by a mutated fluke worm, but in the end, but in the ends, the fumes were more dangerous than the mutant. Yes. Oh, suffered 30 damage? Oh, no. Okay, we just need to go home and rest this team, right? Uh, what's here? Uh, we can trade. Oh, food for... No, no. F uh, food for... Yes, food for tech and food for ma ma material. Sure, sure. We'll do that. Uh, how about here? Oh, they need... No, no. Uh, not a good not a good trade there. Okay. Uh where is this again? Oh, this is in Africa. Trade. No. 2 for 5. Four for six, yes. Trade two for twelve. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Is that correct? Two for twelve, yeah. Two for ten, no. Um, hmm. Should we come down here? Two for twelve. Two for ten. How about these guys? Have they traded? Oh, they have... Uh, everything has respawned on that side. Okay. Trade. Eight for... 
four four five definitely eight four two definitely uh, I think we have explored everything that is in Antarctica Right? Yeah, we have explored everything in Antarctica. Seven, uh, s uh, two and three are still on their way down to this spot, right? Okay, uh, that is six, right? And seven, yeah, okay, six and seven are here. They should be resting up. You know, we have not used her Perry. Uh, her training, I think we should cross train her into a heavy. Uh, Although she ha yeah, she has Bombardier and she has this. Um, and the thing is that we don't have enough... Uh, we don't have enough Athena and planes yet. Uh, do we want to make another... Um, I'm thinking, let us just make another manticore is cheaper 150 as against and 1200 right uh, and then manticore so manticore 2 it will come as manticore 10 uh, we can send the manticore down to Antarctica and then, um, or should we open another base? It'll take a day and five hours. Plus, we need another plane, like, uh, to, what do you call this? Uh, to supervise in terms of, uh, excavating the antediluvian sites. Uh... I think a Manticore would do rather than Helios because they're slow right Helios are fast so they're good for trading the Manticore is not so good so it's slow so but it's cheaper yeah let's make one let's make one okay uh, okay that didn't do too much damage to our resources uh, I think we'll put her Phoenix Prime. Uh, these guys are resting. Okay, anyway, um, Yeah, we will have a different set of people occupying the planes. Uh, and then we'll send them out over to this antediluvian site and then work on them. Uh, anyway, our timer went off, so I guess this would be a good place to uh, cut the episode right here. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye!